The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team update for you guys. Today, it is Monday, which means we've got new Team of the Week items in the game. And guys, we also have new Frozen Team of the Week packs, which are going to be basically kind of what we've had in the past as far as standard Team of the Week packs. But the other thing is that they not only are going to guarantee you those 10 additional player and team items and things like that, like a normal Team of the Week pack would, not only the two Team of the Week players, which are usually gold players, but still... Uh, but you're also going to be guaranteed two frozen items. Now, those two good two items could just be collectibles, probably will be, but it's nice always to get those extra little additional bonuses. So that's definitely something to be paying attention to. These are 70,000 coins. Now, with that said, guys, let's hop in. Let's take a look at the players who were given Team of the Weeks this week. The first one that we want to take a look at is is the team of the week limited edition player and that is Devonta Freeman 94 overall this is instantly one of the best running backs in the game right now now Freeman's actually had quite a few cards this year but this one is by far the best of the bunch you take a look at the attributes he's only five foot eight so he's not going to be a great receiver as far as like going up and jumping for passes and things like that but the other attributes that he has make him a pretty damn good running back 92 speed now out of Devonta Freeman that's a really nice attribute attribute with 93 agility 93 juke move he's got 91 excel the only area where he kind of lags behind is in trucking now he does actually have good catching attributes as well so if you go in and take a look at some of those you've got 77 for catching uh and then if you go down here as well you've got some of the other ones that are pretty good for him as well uh let's see here spectacular catch at an 81 79 for catching traffic and a 77 for route running so kind of a really balanced running back like I said, the only thing that he's not great at really is trucking. So uh, if you're somebody that doesn't do a lot of trucking, I don't think you're really going to be too worried about that. This is a very, very nice card right now. Uh, pretty fun card to use, I imagine. I, I haven't had the opportunity to do it, but uh, it's it's hard to uh, imagine a situation where you wouldn't be able to make use of this card at this point. Now, again, 94 overall. Very, very nice. does have the ankle breaker chemistry as well as the energizer chemistry, so uh, you can make use of those. This thing's going for about 400,000 coins right now on the PlayStation 4, so... If you're, you know, if you're wanting this card, you're going to have to spend up unless you're going to be opening packs. And then, of course, like I said, you do have the opportunity to pull it right now in packs. Now, there are also two additional Team of the Week uh, heroes that we had that were entered into the game today as well. If you go in here into the sets, you're actually going to see these. Uh, these ones are actually pretty damn nice. I got to be honest with you. Wide receiver Brandon Cooks. Now, obviously, all of us know Brandon Cooks is always one of the best receivers for Mutt. Because he always has such a huge speed advantage over everybody else. So this card is definitely one of the fastest wide receivers currently in the game right now. Um, definitely a card to be on the lookout for and consider potentially doing the sets for. Because I'm telling you guys, this thing is absolutely nuts. It has 94 speed, guys. 94 speed. Still really nice route running at a 92 as well. Uh, it's not the best, most balanced receiver or anything, but if you're just looking for a jet out of the backfield, dude, Brandon Cooks is your guy. Now, in order to get Brandon Cooks, you are going to need to put these four elite team heroes into uh, the set to actually be able to get him. You've got a Jarvis Landry here at an 89 overall. Not really anything spectacular out of him. Uh, decent attributes kind of across the board. He had, I think, maybe his best game of the season this past week. And this one uh, is one of the ones that you're going to have to get if you want to get the Brandon Cooks. Um, solid attributes kind of across the board. Again, not anything amazing out of him, but he does have good catching attributes, as you would probably imagine from a guy who is kind of, um, at least in the Dolphins offense, kind of a more possession-style receiver. So uh, decent attributes out of him anyway. A couple other guys that you are going to want to take a look at here. Uh, we've got the Trey Flowers at right end for the Patriots. We've got Lorenzo Alexander for the Buffalo Bills, an 89 overall left outside linebacker. And then we finally... Finally got ourselves a Ty Montgomery halfback card. 88 overall. Looking pretty good, man. Um, this isn't the best card in the game or anything like that. But, I mean, 
Definitely something you could make use of if you're if you're looking for a fast running back and somebody that has good agility. And the other thing, obviously, is that he's coming from playing wide receiver. So he is one of the best catching running backs in the game. 84 catching, just pure catching out of him there. Um, he also obviously has some of the really nice attributes like spectacular catch at a 91 and 88 for catching traffic. And his route running is an 80. A little bit low on the route running there, I got to be honest with you. But all the other ones make up for it. I mean, those are wide receiver receiver attributes at running back and he still has the ability to run the ball so I think this is definitely one of the better team of the weeks this week uh, and certainly something you could you know make use of even if you decide not to go with the Brandon Cooks or the other card that we have here which is Haha ha Clinton Dix a 92 overall free safety for the Green Bay Packers obviously we know Clinton Dix is one of the guys that's great at going up and getting the football playing the ball when it's in the air and he also is going to bring you guys not only that but speed and acceleration 90 speed 92 acceleration very good for a safety 90 uh, zone coverage as well and he even has 89 hit power so he's very very balanced as well now uh, there are also a couple gold players that got team of the weeks this week we've got a BJ Goodson for the uh, the New York Giants we got also a Matt Moore card and Matt Moore is an interesting one because obviously he took over for Ryan Tannehill when he got hurt and so he ended up getting a team of the week this week kind of unexpectedly uh, Eric Walden at left outside linebacker, decent enough, and then Eli Rogers at an 84. None of these cards really particularly stand out, to be honest with you, as far as being amazing. Eli Rogers does have 90 speed, which for an 84 overall gold card is pretty decent, but other than that, not really anything spectacular. So there you have it, guys. That is your team of the week for this week, uh, week 15 of the NFL season, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a favor and drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I hope you guys have good luck opening packs and getting some great stuff out of them today. Thanks again so much. Be on the lookout. We've got more videos coming for you guys later this afternoon. So uh, again, thanks so much for all the support. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.